Greetings, fellow detectives, and welcome to Boiler Room Detective. Understanding Barometric Dampers by Ray Wolfarth. This is an excerpt from an article I wrote for Plumbing and Mechanical Magazine. One of the most misunderstood components inside a boiler room is the barometric damper, which controls the draft inside a boiler. It is installed on boilers that use a Category 1 vent that have negative flue conditions and are non-condensing. To understand how the barometric damper operates, we should understand draft. We all know that when air is heated, it will rise. As the hot air from the boiler rises up the stack, it is replaced by cooler air. This cooler air will push the warmer air up the stack, causing flow or draft. Draft is a measurement of the velocity of flow up the chimney. The speed or velocity of the flue gas draft is affected by many conditions, such as temperature difference between the inside and outside of the building, wind fluctuations, chimney height, burner firing rate, and barometric conditions. It changes constantly. On cold days, the draft may be very high. The excess draft could pull the flue gases too quickly through the boiler. This wastes money as the heat does not have time to transfer to the boiler. Instead, it is wasted up the stack. In some instances, the high draft could pull the flame off the burner resulting in flame failures. After the burner shuts off, the chimney draft can pull the heat from the boiler. When a boiler manufacturer tests the efficiency of their boiler, the test parameters require a six-foot-tall stack or chimney. In most real-life applications, the chimney may be much taller. Excessive drafts inside a boiler can cause other strange behaviors. In addition to increased operating costs, the high draft can cause flame impingement on the boiler. Flame impingement means the burner flame is touching the metal surfaces of the boiler that were not designed to have flame directly on them. This could develop higher than desired levels of carbon monoxide. Flame impingement could also cause embrittlement of the boiler metal, lowering the boiler's life. Embrittlement is the loss of ductility of the metal. It is like what happens when you keep bending a paper clip. It will eventually break. The boiler requires a stable environment, and the chimney is like the wild child. Most older boilers were designed to have a draft at the boiler outlet to be about minus 0.05 inches water column. The draft conditions inside the chimney could cause negative conditions of 10, 20, or even 100 times that amount. How do you handle these erratic swings? Draft controls are recommended when the chimney or stack exceeds 30 feet and a barometric damper is a common, cost-effective solution. The barometric damper is installed in the flue pipe between the boiler and the chimney. It is set for the desired draft conditions using weights and adjustment screws. If the chimney draft exceeds the set point, the damper will open and allow air from the boiler room inside the chimney rather than stealing heat from the boiler. Barometric dampers are only installed on boilers with negative venting. Boilers with pressurized vents would spill flue gases from the barometric dampers into the room. When choosing a barometric damper, there are two types, single and double acting. A single acting damper has a stop that only allows the damper to swing one way. A double acting one allows the damper to swing two ways. The single acting damper will close if positive pressure exists inside the stack. The double acting damper could allow spillage of the flue gases into the boiler room in the event of blocked flues or downdrafts. I know that sounds unbelievable. It is why I like seeing spill switches on the barometric damper. The spill switch senses temperature and if flue gas spillage from the barometric damper enters the boiler room, this switch will sense it and shut off the burner. In some locations, the installation of spill switches is part of the boiler code. Each fuel or combination of fuels requires a specific type of barometric damper. Single acting is traditionally used for oil-fired burners, while double acting is used for gas or dual fuel burners. The red stops found in double acting dampers should be removed if only firing with natural gas. If you would like to contact me, my contact information is here. In addition, I have two websites, Brewing with Steam 
Steamsystems.com has my monthly blog posts on Steam Systems for Breweries, and Fire Ice Heat is my company website. I have written 11 books on boilers, and they are available on Amazon. In addition, you can find some of my writings in these fine publications. Thanks for stopping by Boiler Room Detective, and I hope to see you on the next case.